morning. It's Saturday morning. I am about to bake up some muffins. I started this batter last night. They're sourdough banana muffins. I'm gonna get them into my little silicone muffin tin. I just usually grease them. I have used paper liners in the past, but I feel like if you're gonna eat them the same day, the paper liner winds up taking off a lot of the, you know, baked muffin. It just gets stuck. If you wait a day or two, I think the liners come off much cleaner in my experience. So I'm just gonna put them right in. I'll make up some bacon, do some eggs. I already got in my walk this morning, took a shower, and today is swap day. Muffins are done, looking delicious. I had enough batter for three more, so I just popped those in a different little muffin tin I have. Put those in the oven. Working on my coffee. Dan's working on bacon. So after breakfast, I'm going to run out real quick. I wanted to go this morning, but the schedule didn't work out that way. I'm gonna return that book. This is the one I was listening to and kind of reading. I really could not get into it. And then I kind of just like skimmed it till the end. It was just whatever. I I don't know. Maybe I didn't really give it a good chance, but I didn't enjoy it, so I didn't force myself to read it. But then I read this one, The Soulmate, and I really liked it. I read it in two days. It was just a very quick, easy read, very short chapters. And I read a couple of Sally Hepworth. I actually have read this one, The Younger Wife, and I liked that one too. So I'm going to return all three of these and pick up... I have one book for sure that's on hold that I can pick up today and hopefully I can grab another. All right, breakfast is done. It was delicious as always. My daughter actually didn't have soccer practice today because it has been raining a lot for the past few days and the fields were flooded. So that actually worked out nicely because today it is so windy and cold and like a little bit drizzly. Very similar to how it was last week, last week but even windier. So I'm really kind of glad that soccer <laughs> practice got, it didn't even get canceled. They're going to reschedule it for another day. So it works out. She's not missing out on any practices. And I don't have to sit on the sidelines in this super windy, chilly weather. However, I do have the swap to go to and I'm really curious what she's going to do. I'm assuming she's going to move it inside this year because usually for years she did it inside and then she did it on her lawn for many years and it's been beautiful like every season that she's done it. She does it twice a year in April and October and I think she's only ever had to move it once like do a rain date and it always worked out but she didn't cancel for today and she didn't do any rain date so I'm kind of thinking she's moving it inside but we'll see but I'm actually gonna go clean up the kitchen probably fold some laundry and then I want to run out to the library like I mentioned, that was part of my morning plan. I was gonna try to bake those muffins, run out to the library and be back pretty much before anyone woke up, but it didn't wind up working out that way and that's okay. So I'm gonna try to go out to the library and then I'll go and pick my sister up and then bring her to the swap. That'll work out nicely. I already put all of my donations in my car, so those are all ready to go. I already had a box of books in my car actually, in my trunk that I had meant to donate I don't even know, a long time ago. They've been in there for a while because we have like a book donation drop-off place and I just, I don't know, I kept forgetting about it or just not going and doing it. But it's already in my trunk, so I'll just bring them to the swap. That'll work out fine. So I'm just gonna make my bed and go clean up the kitchen, fold that laundry like I said, and just kinda always like to leave the house in a relatively clean state, even though Dan's gonna be home here with the four kids, so it, pro it probably won't stay clean super long, but. You know, I like to know that it's clean and tidy. All right, I am out and about. I have my bags of library books. This isn't even all of the books. That was just what I could collect on my way out. I'm gonna hope that the book I put on hold is still here because it was said it was available until the 13th and today's the 13th. So I don't know if that means I can still get it today. Hopefully they didn't 
you know, give it to the next person, we'll see. And then I have a list on my phone of some other ones that I want to look for. And then I'm gonna pick up my sister and head to the swap. Right, that was successful. I got some preschool books for Luke. We're doing construction. So I grabbed a bunch from that I could from his preschool curriculum, but then I just supplemented with ones that I couldn't find. And then I got quite a few for myself. This one is a 14 day um, limit. So I'm going to have to read it pretty quick. This is the one that I had on hold. I read the housemaid in one day. So I have a feeling I'll be able to get through this one pretty quickly as well. I've heard from you guys that this, the series kind of holds up. So it, the second one is going to be just as good as the first. We'll see. Then I got eight perfect murders by Peter Swanson. This author was recommended that he had quite a few that were good. So I'm going to start with that one. Same with her, Lisa Unger. This is Confessions on the 745. And there were a ton by her. So if I like this one, I'm excited to read more. Then I picked up this one, A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. And again, these are all like murder mystery, psychological thriller. That's just the genre that I like. So that's what these all pretty much are. And then someone left a comment and suggested this one, Hidden Pictures by Jason Rekulak. And it sounded good, so I grabbed it. It is now a couple days later and I'm ready to film everything that I got at the free swap. Everything you're about to see was completely free and there was so much still left over by the end of it, which she does donate everything. She boxes it all up and donates it. Some things I do take and then later decide I don't want and I'll just re-donate it, but you know, then it's one less thing for her to have to deal with. So. I really tried to be intentional though about what I took home and I am ready to get it all out of my dining room. So let me show you what I got. This is going to be in no particular order. It's all gonna be very random, but I got this super adorable Halloween costume for my daughter. Basically the costume is that she would be a box of donuts and it came with this adorable little headband and some of the donuts actually come off. Not all of them, but just some of them. So I just thought that was the cutest thing. I grabbed this hanging planter basket. So it does hang up, there is a chain, but I could also potentially take the chain off and just use it as like a flower, you know, pot. And then inside I actually have a whole bunch of Harry Potter socks. Somebody donated all these. So I grabbed them, I'll wash them all. The kids were so excited. I picked up this organizer set. It's actually two that stack on top of each other. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for me or give it to my girls. We'll see. If we can't really find a place for it, again, this is something I could redonate. But I also have inside of it a little Santa Christmas ornament. I had a glass one that was kind of similar that broke this year. So that will replace that one. I grabbed this basket. It had like a, a ladle handle kind of attached to it and it was really easy to break off. And this is actually a very similar tone to the basket that I keep our fruit in in the kitchen. So I like that they kind of coordinate. I took this pillow, which I think is so lovely and it's very, very soft. I'm not positive that I'm gonna keep it just because, I don't know. My sister was looking at it in my, my pile and she said, oh, I really like that. And I said, well, why don't you just take it? Cause I'm not sure about it. And I mean, I think it's pretty, but again, it's just kind of like a one-off, which is exactly what she said. She's like, I don't know if I just need one. I, I don't keep a ton of pillows in our living room, so we'll see if I wind up keeping it. I grabbed this winter coat, this like down, it's probably like a down alternative winter coat because I don't have anything like this. And when we go out somewhere and we're going to be outside in the winter for an extended period of time, like walking around a city or something, I, this is kind of like something that I've been missing in my wardrobe and the fur does come off so I can take that off 
if I want to. So I'm glad to have that. And my daughter and I also <laughs> share clothes at this point, so she could even wear that if she needs to. I got a few different coats for Luke. I got him this really cute little gap windbreaker. This green jacket that is perfect for like now, spring or fall. It's not very heavy, but it's also blue fleece on the inside and it's reversible. And then I picked up this Land's End blue winter coat, which is in excellent condition. All right, so I'm trying to go kind of quick because I have quite a few things. I got this festive drawing game. It's like a deck of cards and it's kind of like a, a festive Pictionary. This cute little notebook. It's a spiral bound notebook with lined paper inside. Some sight word flashcards. This interactive reading journey. It's like an early reading book. These A to Z flashcards. This is great for what we're learning now. This is from my father's world and I did count all the letters are there. This apples book for the fall. A Berenstain Bears Easter book that I'll put with our Easter books. This Just Go to Bed. This is The Guardians of Gahul, which I don't think my kids have read or seen the movie of. And this is the first in the series. So if they like it, we could maybe get more. This 10 Little Pumpkins, I will stick with our fall and Halloween things. And then Frederick, which is a family favorite. I also grabbed this canvas bag to put things in, but also to take home because it'll be perfect for library books. And it says something about no, some book club. Then I also grabbed this frame, this navy with gold stars because my boy's room has star wallpaper in it. So that'd be cute to put a picture of them in there. I found this awesome North Face backpack, which has so many compartments. It has a rechargeable USB port and a battery pack in there, which is pretty cool. But I just figured I could save it for the fall time. I'm sure someone's gonna need a new backpack. Then I found three pairs of soccer cleats. These are my daughter's current size. So I figured just good to have a backup. This is her neck size. And then I found a third pair that are Luke's size. So he's actually wearing them outside right now. He was thrilled to be able to get a pair. And again, I mean, I wouldn't normally take so many of the same thing, but this was one of the last things I grabbed and they were still all sitting there with all the other shoes. So I figured, you know, the next step is for them to go to the donation center. So we will definitely get some use out of them. I found two pairs of winter gloves. Then I found two pairs of winter boots. These are a size three and these are brand new size two. So we will definitely be able to use those. I have four kids to keep warm during winter in, in snow gear. So finding them for free is awesome. A few more book things. I found this book, 10 Girls Who Changed the World. This highlights hidden pictures book and then a kindergarten to first grade workbook, which is great because the one I have now for Luke is like pre-K to kindergarten. So this will be perfect for the fall. And then I grabbed this tartan. It's actually just a top sheet. There was no fitted sheet to go with it. It just was the top sheet. And initially I thought I could use it as a tablecloth, but then I thought maybe I could just cut it up and use the fabric. And then I was talking with a friend of mine and she said, well, you could even just use it as a blanket. Just pile it up with your other blankets and use it, you know, on the couch or something. So I thought that's definitely true. I could stack it up with my other like winter plaids that I have, my wool blankets and just have it be another layer. And then lastly, I have this large basket, which I did get there. And I'm kind of bummed because one of the handles is actually broken and I knew it was broken when I saw it there. So I thought maybe Dan could fix it because he has a rivet gun. So we're gonna see if he can fix it. But everything else that I got at the swap is basically kids clothes. So for Luke, I got him this cute little gingham button down and this plaid button down, which will probably be for the fall winter. It's a little bit big. Same with this one. This will probably be for the fall. You like this one? I got him a bathing suit for this summer. And then actually three of these kind of like sport shirts. He has a red one that he's wearing today. Then for Jude, I only got a couple of things. Again, it's just, it depends on what's available in their size. Oh, you're right. These are kind of like yours. These are just Cat and Jack little sweatpants in maroon and tan. And then I found these adorable little llama pajamas, which could be cute for, you know, fall and winter. 
And then for Evie, I found her this really cute sweatshirt. The back of it says, walk by faith, not by sight. I also found her another like long sleeve shirt, sweatshirt that she's already wearing. And then I grabbed her this dress. It's just an old navy, simple long sleeve dress, which would be great for fall. Then I found her this Eddie Bauer bathing suit set. So it's the top with, you know, like the sleeves and then some bottoms and some shorts. So she hasn't yet tried it on. I'm hopeful that it will fit her. And then for Lara, I found her a pair of shorts. She actually got the most just because that's what was there. I found these primary pajamas, which feel exactly the same as Hannah Anderson pajamas. And I've never shopped on primary, but these feel like very good quality. And then I did find her a pair of Hannah Anderson pajamas, little Christmas PJs and the cutest little like holly print. And then some more Christmas jammies. Well, these are more just wintry and these are Lauren Conrad. Some cute little leggings and just a simple navy t-shirt. This cute shirt that says daydreaming. A pair of shorts. This brand new Abercrombie shirt for the fall. This cute little panda shirt that says happy. These cute like sport leggings. These could be great for soccer. I found this really nice Columbia like windbreaker. Perfect in her size. Just some gray comfy pants. This green long sleeve will probably be for the fall. This cute little like USA uh, tank top with a little tie in the front. This cute long sleeve that says think outside again for the fall and a pair of soccer shorts. And the very last thing is a sports bra for me. And then there's that basket so you can kind of see it a little better. So yeah, I'm hopeful that Dan can fix that because it is a nice basket. So we'll see if he can get that fixed. But that is gonna be it for this swap day and the swap haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care.